cool. I bet that makes you want the toilet. Welcome to Sculpture Studios. We're working with a company now called MCL Create, and we're making a giant drinking bottle for Scottish water. This is to aid in the promotion of their top up from the tap, Your Water, Your Life campaign, where they're encouraging people in Scotland, and by extension the rest of the UK as well, to use refillable water bottles as opposed to plastic. This will generally save everyone money, and as plastic is one of the biggest waste problems on the planet, it'll help save the environment. And I know what a few of you are thinking out there, you're thinking what about polystyrene and styrofoam and all that kind of waste, but they've actually discovered superworms that can eat this kind of thing, so we're all in the clear. Anyway, their campaign makes complete sense, where they say you're spending less than a penny for a few pints of water at home from the tap, so why would you even consider spending up to, say, £1.50 or so for a single bottle of water from a shop or supermarket? The bottle we're going to be making is 3.2 metres tall and is representing those that Scottish Water will be giving out to the public during their events. For this, it's going to need to be made from fibreglass so that it's strong and durable for long multiple uses and so that we can achieve a really high finish. It's also being made hollow so a door can be installed to gain access to the inside where merchandise will be stored. Beginning with the top neck section, this part is going to be created from polystyrene, then moulded and then cast in glass fibre. The basic block shape is cut using hot wires, and using our turntable, Aiden starts creating the shape, blowing the bottle up to a large scale. Once he's happy with the form, a thin renderer of water-based plaster mix is put on top, which air dries and can be sanded back to help lose that polystyrene texture. Once this has been sanded back, we go over with water-based paints just to see if anything needs more work. To begin taking the mould, a halfway split line is created and we're using plastic to make the dividing wall. This means the mould can break apart into two sections to release the fibreglass cast. Before going over with a gel coat of resin as the first layer of the mould as you can see here, generally it's always best to use a release agent, like a PVA blue in this case, to help release the pattern from the mould later. Once this gel coat is set, this is backed up with fibreglass and general purpose resin. For the main body of the bottle, we're not actually creating a master pattern as such, but instead, oh, if you know you know, thank you very much Sam, but instead we're creating a mould using a wooden frame. Smooth plastic is laid into the frame and fixed in position, which we can go straight in with gel coat and a glass fibre layer in order to create a cast. We need to make sure we get everything right at this stage, and make sure this is properly constructed and held in position. Not only do we need to get more than one cast from this mould for the two halves of the bottle, but these halves need to butt up perfectly against one another on each side once they're taken out. For a more complex shape, after the gel coat we would initially go in with a layer of one ounce fibreglass to make sure that all the curves and shapes are properly laminated. But as this is a relatively simple form, we're going straight in with two ounce and backing up with a second layer. This is class O rated resin, which means it's fire retardant and this makes it suitable for captive audiences and inside installations. Hopefully there will be enough water around to have put the fire out if anything were to happen, but this ensures it's suitable wherever the clients want this to be installed. Man, I'm loving this retro stuff. What's this, like 70s, 80s funk?
Well, I hope you're thirsty, Aiden. Me? Yeah. I'm thirsty, yeah. So here we are joining the two parts of the bottle together. Obviously these were all created from the same mould so that everything retains the correct shape. But as with everything, when it comes to joining two pieces together, um, you always get odd little undulations and, and differences in, in where this side and that side sit. If you've seen the jelly mould job, that was very evident with that piece. Um, what we're doing here is putting these little chocks and drilling all the way through to make sure that this seam line running all the way up this side, all the way across the top and all the way down the other side is as flush as possible. We trimmed, made sure everything is nice and neat and everything lines up correctly and then we're laminating with glass fibre on the inside so that this is really structurally sound and is all in one piece. Right, here we are with the bottle so far. So what's been going on, Aidan? Um, so far, we've got the whole bottle made out in fire glass in three pieces, two halves and a cap. In here, we've made a trap door. It's run lock and it opens out. Little locks and keys. And the main thing is that they wanted to put some a lot of the merchandise. They can put them on in bottles and their laptops and some personal items down there. Now, we've also put these shelves in for two reasons. One, it, keep, it keeps, uh, contains the bottle shape, uh, and plus it, it just makes the whole thing just structurally sound. Uh, and they can get in and out and, and just hide things up at night. Close the door and then lock the whole thing up and they walk away, so that's perfect. Just finishing the surface off now and making sure it's all filled very, very neat. And we're sending it around to get spray blue. Okay. I look forward to it coming back in its glory. And we didn't think we'd have the bottle for this job, did we, Kev? Nice. <laughs> Now that all the construction sides complete, we're giving this a 2K primer of grey and we're sending this to SH Bodyworks. This is a local spray company just down the road from us and if you've seen our video of Gus the Giant Gorilla for the Aspinall Foundation, you can see what a fantastic job they do for us. With our studio being so dusty, what with the nature of our work, sending it to them ensures a nice clean environment to achieve a great finish. All the elements, the carabiner and the bottle top are also being sent with the colour codes that the client sent us being matched and ready to spray on. For the vinyl details on either side of the bottle, Pete Frost from Stanford Signs, who did all the vinyl work on our new company van, has come down to the studio once again to apply these on. The nice neat finish on the paintwork makes Pete's job a lot easier, and this completes the look for the bottle's professional finish. So this can be transported securely without getting bumped and damaged, we're creating a sturdy but softly padded trolley and cradle for the bottle to lay down on. Here we finally have the bottle laying down in its trolley and we've just attached the carabiner just about to see the graphics on top nice shine on it and there's the base we've given that an extra little bit of paint as well just so it looks a bit nicer and this is where they'll be bolting it down here on the carabiner we've also made a bubble wrap bag for it so they can take this on and off when it's in transit. Mm -hmm. 
with last final checks being made, making sure all the keys for the locks are with the job, and everything is securely wrapped, this is then sent off to be delivered to the client. Taking a quick look on Twitter, at Scottish Water's page, it was soon evident that this bottle really made the rounds. It was being relocated around Scotland and other areas of the UK as an eye-catching prop for the campaign stand. It's great seeing items like this out in the public as a sort of giant pop art piece, and even more beneficial when it's for a good cause. So, can you tell us what's happening here today? We're launching our new campaign, Your Water, Your Life. We're encouraging people to top up from the tap. When you go out and about, take a refill the water bottle and top up with clear, fresh, great tasting Scottish water. So there we have it, one giant refillable bottle for Scottish water. Well, not really refillable, as there's a hole in the bottom, a door in the side, and the lid doesn't come off, but a giant prop all the same. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching, and top it up from the tap.